Hi everyone, Pastor Joe. Uh, thanks for giving me a minute. Uh, just uh, some highlights from this past week. Some really great, great things happened. Our team got back from El Salvador. Great stories there. Our team from Guatemala came back last week. They've got great stories. Pastor Greg came home from Zimbabwe with incredible stories. Uh, all about church growth, church planning, orphanages. We had uh, an exploratory team in Panama City and uh, we found a special needs orphanage and a church planning group that we're going to start working with there. Again, just more and more and more excitement. Uh, thank you for those who gave and who pledged or going to give to the Zimbabwe Pastor Fund. Uh, we were hoping to raise 5000 with everything that looks like everybody's committed to. We're going to be closer to 10000 Praise God for that because uh, we're going to be able to literally train and put guys right out on the field to plant churches, start new orphanages, go into new cities in uh, parts of South Africa and Mali and parts of uh, South Africa that we've not been able to get into before. So we're very excited about that. Thank you also. Lots of folks showed interest and signed up for our mission trip to Virginia and Mexico and the Dominican Republic and Colombia. In fact, I think those are all pretty much full. Uh, but don't worry, if you haven't gotten to sign up, there will be more, many more to come as we move on through the year. Uh, we had our big uh, youth event. Uh, Wes, Big West was here, had 100 teenagers come and be a part of that. And uh, the, in fact, the next big event for the teenagers is their Homeless for a Night event, uh, where they'll be raising money through sponsorships and uh, being outside to see what it's like to be homeless for a night. And all the money will go to help uh, people in need. Uh, six people joined the church this past week. We praise God for that. A great week at Palm Bay, a great week here at Tomoka. Uh, keep inviting your friends and remember that uh, we're here to rescue people. In Jesus' name, that's what it's all about. This weekend, I get the privilege of preaching the last book in the Bible about Malachi. Four little chapters. I really encourage you to read it. Um, not not hard to read. It's got a lot of information in it, and usually when people teach on this book, they talk about tithing, and I could, but that's not what I'm going to talk about. We're going to take a look at the chapter 3, that because this is the last word God is going to speak for 400 years until Jesus is born, and God ends this with such an incredibly incredible, uplifting message of hope that I want everybody to get. So read the book if you can. Read chapter 3 if you don't have time to read it all. I love being your pastor. I'll see you this weekend.